Right, it's Phil again with the Craft Series 71 that I've been working on. Uh, this conversion uses a Frisky two-way module and a Arduino Nano encoder um, uh, as a change to the usual PIC encoders. I've been using PICs for about 20 years but it's the first time I've used an Arduino so uh, it's all new to me. And uh, This project was a kind of learning exercise. And what I found is they're very very easy to use. Uh, just run through the facilities quickly. Uh, first of all we calibrate the sticks, so hold the button down, switch on, left aileron, left trim, right aileron with right trim, up with up trim, down with down trim, left rudder with left trim, right rudder with right trim, throttle with high, throttle with low trim. So that's calibrated the set. So all the servos are nicely neutral, there we go. Um, I fly mode 2 and I like the servos to be in Futaba order, so it's aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, and this is an auxiliary. The auxiliary has a servo slow function built in, you can see it travels quite slowly there. And uh, if uh, another facility it has is the servo slow switch, if we flick that rapidly three times it goes into this range check mode. During range check elevator still works, rudder still works, ailerons flapping away like this. The throttle is locked for safety. And the idea of that is that you can leave the transmitter somewhere, walk away with the model and do a range check watching the surfaces move as you go so you can see if there's any problem with the range. Just throw any of the sticks to uh, stop that operating. Um, it does servo reversing by holding the sticks over on power up so at the moment right aileron the servo is moving towards the transmitter so if I switch off hold the aileron over and switch over again now you can see that right aileron is towards the camera so that's that's reversing that applies for any of the sticks um, you can do two at once if you like by holding it in the corner that kind of thing um, on the top here we've got uh, two controls this one is rates so you see the amount of movement we've got there, click to put the rates on and we can reduce that right down. In fact I can hold aileron and just vary the amount of movement. Click says there's no rates, that's full movement. The other one is Expo and I have to thank Paul Luby for the maths behind the Expo because I couldn't work it out. Um, the easiest way to demonstrate this is to put it on full. So you move the stick in a linear way and the server moves very little around the middle then rapidly accelerates towards the edges. Click means the Expo is switched off. Um, after landing an electric model some clubs have a rule that you can't take the transmitter on the strip so you put it down um, it falls over, opens the throttle and we've got problems. So this has a throttle lock, that's the throttle channel. Land your electric model, flick the throttle lock on and that's it. Everything else works but you can't open the throttle. That's the throttle lock. Um, right, uh, right, uh, it has a mixer. If you imagine these two servos are um, the Alivons in a flame wing, if I flick it this way, if I leave it off, you've got separate ailerons, elevator, flick the mixer in this way. This is a 50 50 for V tails, so you've got equal amounts of elevator movement in unison and aileron or rudder movement in opposition. If I flick it the other way, it's a 75-25 mix. So there's 75% aileron and much reduced elevator, 25% elevator. That's for flame wings that are very pitch sensitive and um, it's necessary to have that reduced ratio. Switch it off again, we've got separate aileron and elevator. So that's the mixer. Um, the other thing it does now, this, this is my favourite, um, this button is a single channel emulation. So we press one for right, let go, two for left. So it's just like an escape, it's a full escapement emulation. One for right, two for left, and it also does kick up elevator. One, two, three. One for right, two for left, three for kick up elevator. If I flick this switch, instead of emulating a compound escapement, it emulates a Sequential escapement. Right, left, right, left in alternate sequence. Just like a Elmic Conquest or 
uh, similar sequential escapement. So that's a single channel emulation. Um, everything is live at the same time, so whilst you're doing your one for right, two for left, um, the throttle still works, the rudder still works, um, elevator still works, everything is simultaneous and there's no switching to enable the uh, uh, single channel button. In fact if you say you're holding two for left you can actually add and remove to that with the uh, rudder channel. So that's a single channel and it is actually a mix um, added into the proportional channels. Um, it has an inactivity timer, I can't demonstrate that because it means leaving it like that for 10 minutes but if, if that's just left for 10 minutes like that with no activity it will beep 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 um, just to remind you to switch it off um, the only other thing I need to say is um, when programming the Arduino um, it's almost essential that you get rid of the bootloader um, the bootloader introduces a delay on switch on so you switch it on and it can be anything up to two seconds before the encoder starts to produce PPM if the bootloader is still enabled. So get rid of that, program it through ICSP and um, the instant you switch it on the PPM is, is instant then. Uh, this is very important for Corona users because if you power a Corona module with no PPM it defaults all channels to half a millisecond uh, which obviously is outside the range of a normal servo so it drives it right to one end and it can strip the gears. Um, so it doesn't do that, it comes up with PPM immediately, you switch it on, provided you get rid of the bootloader. So that's everything I think, I've done that as quickly as I can, I'm told my videos are too long and boring, so I'm hoping that's not been too bad. Uh, this is set up for, it's actually just six proportional channels, this is set up for four propo channels, um, the switched servo slow channel, and uh, all the other um, bits and bobs on top of that. So this is actually a five channel set, uh, but it will, will do up to six. So there you go. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.